Hello. Yes. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. This is Sekram. Yeah. Good morning, Suresh, sir. Ah, good morning. You joined, right? I've seen your name. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good morning, okay. madam. Uh, good morning, good morning. So I'm going to define this uh, primary lecture. So, so there is a uh, small difference between uh, primary lecture and uh, the secondary lecture. So primary lecture mm -hmm. is the one where actually we will do the transaction. So and uh, we have also the secondary lecture and the reporting lecture. So what is secondary lecture is something that in case if we have a special requirement to represent the accounting or the financial data in different form, on that cases we will go for uh, the secondary lecture. For example, we have implemented five for, uh, for uh, five different countries. So maybe the chart of accounts may be different from one country to another country. So so we cannot present it uh, in the same way. So for this case, what we will do is like we will create a uh, different chart of accounts and we will create a mapping between the two chart of accounts. And uh, end of the period, what we will do is like we will run a translation. After running the translation, we will transfer the balance to the parent ledger. So that is the main difference between primary ledger and the secondary ledger. But in secondary ledger, we will not actually do any sort of transaction. Whatever the transaction we create in primary ledger, it will be posted to the secondary ledger. So now why do we need uh, the reporting ledger? So let's say we have uh, implemented for uh, five different countries. So we don't want this different chart of accounts and uh, different uh, calendar and all those things. So we have only different currencies. Rest of the things are uh, similar. So for this kind of cases, what we can do is like, uh, we, we can uh, just define this reporting ledger and we can have it reported in the different currency. I mean, it will it, it is based on uh, the currency value so that we will define it uh, while doing the setup. And also for the periodical thing, we will upload it. Uh, so as part of it, we will get those things. So these are the three ledgers that we have. So now what we are uh, going to create is the primary ledger where we will create the actual transaction. I'm just clicking at so I give uh, SW lecture. So I'm selecting the chart of accounts which we created. So if you notice here, it is always the instance, it is not the COA structure. Mm -hmm. I'm selecting the calendar which we created and uh, the currency I'm choosing maybe I chose for uh, US dollar and here you see different uh, uh, accounting methods so what is accounting method so accounting method defines how we want to actually account the particular transaction so there is a difference between uh, the journal entries and the transaction that we do in subledger Subletter, we can say AP, AR, and other rest of the body, which does a sort of thing. So, basically, in R12, you will see two kind of uh, primary me methods of accounting that is cash basis and the yeah. accrual basis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here in Fusion, if you see, you will see only the accrual, you will not find this cash basis accounting since no companies are very few companies are following the cash basis accounting. So cash basis accounting is something that we walk into supermarket, we procure, we pay. So this we call cash basis accounting. But whereas accrual is something that I procure today and I pay maybe next month or something. So that we call accrual accounting. There are many methods, right? Only for if you want to add furthermore. Yeah, that we can customize as uh, SLA. SLA, okay. Yeah. Right, thanks. Subledger accounting method where we have mm -hmm. uh, different ways of doing it. So basically, we can customize it. Uh, so, for example, let's say there is a requirement that uh, for a particular branch, maybe we wanted to catch the different uh, revenue account. So, for that, we will basically customize this uh, subledger accounting method and we can do it. So, similarly, we will uh, have different uh, requirements that we will receive from the clients. 
the fast that we can use is the uh, customization app for SMA. But what Oracle has given is that uh, for, for standard accounting method. That is one is uh, the standard accounting and we have uh, for China and this is for uh, with encumbrance and we have for US Federal. So I'm choosing standard accounting. So I have created the primary ledger. So I'm assigning the legal entity to the created ledger. Same as R12, but the form is different, right? Yeah. Only same procedure. The... Yeah, yes, only the U is different. This is also same, no? Same, we'll attach primary ledger chart of yes. account. Yes. Okay. So basically, most of the functions are similar to R12. So the only thing is, so Oracle has eased uh, the the user friendly forms is one thing, and uh, if we are going for a vanilla implementation where we will not do any sort of customization apart from few reports. So, for those cases, we can utilize this rapid implementation. So, rapid implementation is that uh, whatever the basic request setup will be uploaded through the Excel sheet. So, that I'll show at the end of this uh, session. I mean, after we complete uh, AP and other things. So, with so that sorry can, to ask you, uh, yeah. sorry, so could you explain what is vanilla implementation because I'm new to it. I have no idea okay. about it, sir. So, so if you take any kind of implementation, basically clients will have different uh, expectation in terms of IT system. So there will be certain clients where they will expect us to build a few forms for, uh, for them to support, uh, let's say, expense management. So they don't want to go for the Oracle standard practice. They will use the customized font. But what we call as a uh, vanilla implementation is that there will not be any customization. So whatever Oracle is giving, we will do as it is. So that we call vanilla implementation. Okay, sir. So we have attached the legal entity and this is saving and so I'm specifying ledger option. So this is our uh, first uh, open period, January 2020. And we have a future interval period. So future interval period is something that, uh, let's say, the current month is uh, February. Uh, so, I, so I will see, since I have given one as a future interval period, I will see March as a future interval period. So I can enter the JV, but I cannot post uh, the particular transaction. Maybe I can save it for uh, the adjustment or something, I can have it. So that is the purpose of having this future and trouble period. So it, it, it is again client requirement to have it one or two or three. So as a standard practice, we will have one period for a future and trouble period. And uh, we will select the journal language. As a default, we will select uh, American English. And we will select the retained annual.
So this is where basically we will add the values. So here uh, we have uh, three columns. One is summary, and uh, the other one is allow posting and allow budgeting. So what the summary is that uh, if we want to use a uh, particular account for uh, the parent and child relation, so that is where we will use summary. If this is marked as a summary, yes, which means this is a parent value. So for the parent value, we will not be able to make transaction. So the child values will make the transaction, and we will see the aggregate value in the parent value. So I'm just clicking no, and I allow posting, and I allow budgeting. Similarly, I give uh, allow posting to you, allow budgeting to you, and I'm selecting this as a ownership equity. I say no. So we are seeing this uh, summary and allow posting and allow budgeting. So account type. So account type is kind of a classification where we will see whether this is categorized as an asset, or this is categorized as a liability, or this is a revenue or expense or ownership equity. This we will classify. So the, this classification will be basically for the account code. And another option we have is that uh, third party control account. So here we will have uh, different uh, options. So basically, if we don't want to enable this option, simply we will click uh, no. If we want to enable the control account, then we will, we will need this, uh, what you call the subledger uh, transaction references. So if you are giving, if you are choosing for customers, then we will need the reference from AR market. Similarly, we have uh, supplier, which means we need the reference from the AP market. And then we have restrict uh, journal entry. So whatever uh, the account which is marked with restrict uh, manual journal, you will not be able to post any transaction upon this uh, particular given account. So we, we don't want to complicate it. Maybe we can try out try out uh, a later point. So uh, as a testing thing, I'm just giving no. And reconciliation. So if we want to do account wise journal reconciliation. Then we need to enable this. So I'm just clicking no. And financial category is like categorizing our account. So I'm just uh, giving uh, equity. Sorry, wait one moment. So now I give uh, ledger options. So I select uh, company one. Well, I select between them. So we have uh, simulated transaction adjustment account. So in case we have we, we are doing transaction with uh, 
different currencies. Then at the end of the period, we might need to run the translation process. So where the translation, uh, the, the difference that will be stored is that uh, with the cumulative translation adjustment method. So since we use only one currency, I'm not giving the translation adjustment method. And how this will get processed is like based on our uh, default period and rate. So this is like we say corporate uh, uh, user rate. So it is nothing but the currency rate which we define. So we have uh, different rates. That is corporate rate, then we, we have user defined and uh, yeah. we have spot rate. So spot rate is the current rate. And corporate rate is basically a standard rate which we will use for uh, the, any transaction which we, we make in uh, invoices are uh, the receivables so we are not using this option so i'm just giving it blank but the, i'm just saying the purpose why we will use this uh, rate type. and then we have uh, the, the balancing so balancing is nothing but uh, let's say we create a journal entry which is unmatched so if this is not matched what should an uh, system too. So basically whether it should allow it into suspense account or it should uh, give an alert saying it is not matched. So most of the clients will not uh, match them. Clients will not basically prefer for uh, suspense account because it, 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 it will not have any track on this uh, particular uh, transaction whenever there is a and we have a rounding account. So rounding account is the way, where it, it will get stored basically if there is a difference let's say we take uh, the currency transaction so the currency rate today is different from uh, tomorrow so those difference also fall into this uh, rounding account to enable suspense account yeah it is having a general ledger in sla so general ledger means only gl modules are yeah suspense. that is only yeah. for uh, if we want to enable only for the gl module uh, whatever the journals we create inside this, uh, okay. it, it will be affected. And the SLA means only I want payable modules we can do? No. On all no, sub -ledger. It is for all sub -ledger. Only for payable we cannot do SLA. So tick means it will not ask. Okay, it is. Except GL. One is yes. GL or all other than GL. Okay. Yeah, yes. Okay. Okay, proceed. Yeah. And uh, then we have uh, journal approval. So this is simple approval where uh, uh, based on the employee hierarchy, basically we will have employee hierarchy in all the companies. That is manager, subordinate, similarly we have the roles and uh, responsibilities. So based on that, we can set up this uh, journal approval and we can uh, approve the journal. After that only we can pass the particular JB. And then this is just kind of a notification. So if you see here, we will find it. If we enable this option, in this notification, we will uh, get the details. And uh, so this is again enable reconciliation that we saw while defining the accounts. So I'm not giving this option as well. So this is for a separate uh, journal by accounting date. So do we, while importing the journal, do we want to summarize or do we want to categorize it based on the date? So let's say we are running on 31st of March specific uh, creating entry, create entry program. So do we want to categorize based on the accounting dates or do we want to run as a batch? So this we will enable it here. So if we are enable this option, then it will be generated based on the accounting date. And then we have uh, intercompany accounting. So intercompany is something that we, we are doing transaction between the LEs. So that we call uh, in intercompany accounting. So we have another advanced uh, concept called uh, AGS, Advanced Global Intercompany. Thing. So that is between the ledger. So I'll explain what it is and how it works. And this is <clears throat> like average balances. So, so do we want to maintain the average balances or the active? So mostly clients, I mean, I haven't seen clients using average balances. Mostly I have seen using the, the normal one. And uh, then we have the sequencing. So 
So do we want to enable the sequencing at ledger level or do we want to enable at uh, legal level? So if we are enabling this sequencing, then we, we will have to create this document number. So document numbering is basically used for the auditing purpose. Here we will use it in the payable savings mostly. And uh, this, this, this will be an uh, year and activity, part of year and activity, we will create a new document number for the subsequent uh, years. So this is what we call document sequencing. So these are the ledger options which we have. So the next step is assigning the values to the to the ledger. So basically we can assign to the ledger or to the legal entity. So I'm just directly assigning to the ledger. So I'm assigning value 12. I'm saving the so we can see we have one balancing segment assigned to this. Since we didn't create uh, any primary ledger, we are not able to see it. And then, uh, okay, so we are done with this. So what we have done is we have, uh, till now we have created legal entity and we have created ledger and we have assigned it and we have given the ledger options and we have even assigned the BSP to the ledger. And now what we will do is like we will submit the accounting configuration. So if you see here, so this is what I was saying, balance queue. And we have average balance queue. So once we submit this ledger, system will automatically create a queue for this ledger. So whenever we are doing any kind of transaction in the system for this ledger, on this ledger, we will see the transaction or the queues created against each transaction, against each uh, JV or invoices or payment. So I click submit. So we saw yesterday that uh, schedule process is the place where we will basically see the programs which we are running. So we will just verify. So if you see here, feeds are getting generated. So once this, this process is complete, then maybe we can uh, try to reduce this process and we will attach the roles and uh, try to create a uh, few manual uh, JVs. So this is done. So let us So we are just uh, selecting this user.
So we can see that there are two rows already assigned. So we click here. That is A dot uh, so let's assume this the uh, most like that. So to do JV, so basically I have added uh, two rules. So one is uh, general accountant and the other one is financial analyst. So I'm just uh, saving and closing this screen. So we have uh, done the degrees of counting and uh, we have assigned the data that's it. And uh, now we will open the PDF. So Then we will navigate to schedule process. 
We have a general reporting, and this is the dashboard. We'll just show how it will look like. So since we haven't made uh, any transaction, we will not be able to see any kind of uh, things here. So maybe while we have this few exceptions, we, we will see here. So this dashboard is basically to understand what are the which are the immediate actions that we need to take. So if you see here, we will see this intercompany transaction that requires attention. So that basically a particular resource has to take a, take that uh, note and he has to clear the batches. So that will be in this place. And we have uh, journals which is in warning or any other status that needs to be processed. So if you see here, so you will see the error date and uh, the issue, uh, the period for which uh, it has occurred. So these are the things which we will see. And uh, if you see here, uh, basically this will show the current uh, open period. So since uh, this has to be done, so we, we are not able to see it. And uh, you can see here that uh, our ledger has been automatically picked up. An account monitor is basically, it will, it will give a high level understanding uh, that uh, the, at the transaction level. So it will give us the summary. So I will just navigate and we will try to create a manual journal. I click journal. I click the sidebar. I create journal. So I create a very
So we don't have account secret for it. So maybe what we can do is we will uh, try to load the account value from the Excel sheet. Yeah. After loading, maybe we will verify whether it has been loaded, and then we will come and try to create a manual change. So basically, to do this process, Oracle has given an uh, a repository. So on this repository, basically we will find all those uh, information that, that, that needs to be uh, filled out. So basically, you will find out what it is and explain over it, and you will have you will find the templates over it, and in the template you will find how to use and all that. So basically, I have a sample template and I'll explain. So basically, this is the Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes. The Excel sheet, right? Uh, no, no, no. I think it's uh, the same that the main uh, Oracle, the main screen where you click on the general accounting and the ledgers period close. That's that's been seen here, yeah. Your, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. So, the, this is the template that uh, we will be down, downloading from the Oracle site. So, basically, it will uh, give an uh, overview and it will tell us that uh, how to prepare this. And uh, we have a certain validation here, uh, set of insights is uh, fine. And we will load it. And uh, basically, we will generate this as a CSV file. So, once this is done, then we will upload from uh, the Fusion application. So directly the values will be loaded into the base base of base tables. So this we can uh, remove it. I'll share the sheet and maybe I'll share the repository links also so you can just go through. And uh, then the next column what we have is that the values. So we will give the value set code. So our value set code is such that basis. And we will give the values. I have given few values, and we will give the start date, end date, and the other columns. What we saw is that uh, summary flag and enable account type and posting, the other uh, things. So basically, 
and then we have free structure. So basically, what is free structure? Again, this is a learning concept in future. So free structure is nothing but uh, managing this parent child at a different level. So if you see here, you will have the tenth level of parent. So let's say we have a value one triple zero. So this is the child value. So this can be a uh, parent value for another set of child like oh, one one double zero. And similarly, we have different level of uh, maintaining the parent. So that is what we call uh, tree and tree version. And if you see here, so this is what we call root. So root is nothing but the child value. So in fusion, we call the tree and the root concept for the parent and child concept. So since we didn't create any parent and child relation, we are just uh, saying that this is the tree code and this is the tree version. Since we don't have any updated version on it, but this is mandatory to maintain if at all we wanted to add in future or something. So I have loaded it, and uh, I have uh, clicked uh, generate CSV. And I have the files ready with me, and we will uh, see how it works if we go into application. So again, we go to schedule process. So schedule a new process. So you are going to create a journal or no 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 we are loading the chart of account values oh values okay in the csv file from two yeah. you are uploading So what we will choose is like we will choose lower interface file for import. Clicking OK. So I will have to select the import process.
So basically, to import uh, values or any values or uh, any data from uh, our Excel sheet to Fusion application, we need to run two processes. So one is load the uh, file to interface. So what this will do is that uh, the whatever data that we are uh, loading, so that will be pushed uh, from the Excel sheet to the UCM, that is uh, Universal Content Manager. So that will process the files and it will have set of validations and all those things. So once this is processed, then the file will be put into interface table. So from the interface table, again, we, we will have to get into base table. So for uh, this process, we are running the second process that is uh, import segment values and hierarchy. And uh, so why is that you get these warning, uh, the status yeah, warning, and all that? You, yeah, yeah. yeah, few values actually it hasn't been loaded. So that is what... Oh, okay, that is pretty good. Okay, it's because of that. Hello. Yeah, yes. Sir, say drama. Yeah, yes. Uh, sir, while uploading this, if there is any error in the Excel file, it, it will get uploaded or it will show the error? Yeah, it will show the error. Uh, we can find it won't it get uploaded, no? Yeah, it whatever. Get uploaded. Yeah, if we have exceptions, then that will be displayed. Here. So whatever Achha. is the success record, it will be get uploaded into the... And is there any restriction, sir? Number of rows like in Excel, any restriction is there? Uh, behind that, you could not, you have to split that file like that? No, split in the sense, I mean, we have tried uh, 2,000, 3,000 records also. We didn't have Pardon? any. No, we, we tried uh, 2,000, 3,000 records also. We didn't get any exception. So maybe that Achha. depends on the Excel file, like how we are loading. So you are okay, asking okay. about the chart of accounts or generally you are asking to load the invoices or other parts? No, no, this this part only I am asking. Yeah, okay. this we cannot put this, this we, we shouldn't have any. There is no restriction. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.
Okay, this I'll check and I'll come back because uh, last night I was loading the values for some other phones, I thought uh, I didn't face any issue. So I, I will check and I'll uh, communicate on this part. So loading this balancer. So let me add a uh, few values manually.
can see the status of this uh, poster. So what we have done is like we have uh, created a batch called uh, JV1 under that uh, we created uh, one journal. So this is basically an adjustment entry. So this is an uh, manual entry where we have created for 10,000 and uh, we have posted this transaction. So now let's uh, try to see Basically, what uh, this process will do is that uh, so when we post a particular uh, journal entry uh, in the central legend module, what it will do is like the, whatever the transaction that we are posting, it will be saved in uh, SPACE database. So, SPACE database will generally create a cubical value for the data, whatever we are processing from the general legend module. So that is what we will see, but uh, some cases it will get some time to load uh, the balances into your space. So, So these are the options uh, that we have. So basically, if we want to create a journal, we can create from here what we did uh, now. And uh, if we want to uh, maybe query the particular uh, JV, maybe we can uh, query this by giving the details. That's also what we did. And uh, we have another option that is uploading the journal in the spreadsheet. So that also we will see now. And then we have auto post options. So this is kind of on uh, schedule. And uh, the auto reversal. So, some cases we may need to reverse the journal entry. So, so, that is what again, this is an schedule form. And then we have approval. So, when we are defining the ledger, I mean, when we are giving the ledger option, we were saying that we can set up the approval thing for the ledger, I mean, the journal. So, when an employee has created the journal, basically we will receive this approval if we have the certain limits to approve it. We will receive it where it will be notified. So, where we will see it here after we set up. So, since we didn't set up that, we didn't receive it. Uh, so, after that, we will see it here and from there we can approve the JV. And the uh, rest of the things are like uh, we have uh, the reconciliation part, uh, reconciliation between, reconciling between the clearing method. And then we have uh, the allocation. So the allocation is basically to, to distribute uh, the particular transaction. Let's say we have uh, uh, rent expenses. So that we wanted to distribute it between different uh, departments or different offices. So that we can use the allocation rule and we can uh, distribute the expenses. And we have the journal input. Let's say we are uh, importing the journals from uh, different sources. Maybe we will import from the payroll and uh, that will be imported into general legend module. So that we will import basically with the two files. And uh, if we want to clear certain data, maybe we will use the uh, delete import data. And if we want to correct it, maybe we can uh, check this and correct and import the journals again. 
and uh, this is for the subledger uh, journals whatever we have it maybe we can uh, do create accounting for the respective uh, subledger uh, model so this is all about uh, jv so now let's uh, try to create uh, one uh, jv from the spreadsheet So I click uh, enable edit and this time will ask me to log in. Just giving the journal and selecting the ledger and then selecting the accounting data. I'm just using the same button. It has been processed. So now let's uh, check whether this has processed any more features. So this is processed. So now let's uh, check if uh, the JV has been created. So this is the JV that uh, we actually processed for spreadsheet that is from Excel sheet. 
So what we have uh, given is that we have given the adjustment for uh, 3000. So it is being posted also. So this will automatically post in one place. So maybe we can uh, just view this also. So we can uh, see the source that is from the spreadsheet. Uh, okay, so this is the manual way of uh, entering the journals and uh, through the action sheet. And uh, this upon course, basically, I'll see it and uh, I'll check and I'll come back at that point. I don't know if uh, something is going on. I'll need to check that one. So do we have uh, any questions? I know that was uh, okay. I mean, could understand. Okay. If you have any questions, that uh, just post it. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah so sure. if 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 mm -hmm. we have time, maybe we can start the uh, AP part also. So if you are uh, so now, now is it? Yeah, I'm just asking you. If you are working, we can start or maybe we can resume next week. Uh, uh, what about others? Uh, what, <laughs> I think I, uh, so I think it will be okay if it is next week. I mean. Uh, okay, fine, fine. No uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So what all is pending in GL? Uh, on the GL part, basically we have done the configuration and uh, we have ah, done setup we have done and the journal you started. Yeah. Then you have what budgeting consultation, huh? Yeah, budget and consultation. Basically, I'll show only on the GL part because uh, the yeah. budget has two parts. One is IPD and another one. So next on Saturday account. we can finish GL. Yeah, yeah, we can uh, finish GL and okay. Can, uh, yeah. So I'll be happy. Are in Sunday? Okay. Yeah. And then thank you. Okay. Okay. Share the link. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thanks. 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 Thank you, sir.